Oh, oh there, they there go. we go. There we go. There was no oh, way. Oh, oh he's hurt. Push up and over. Boyer's in it. Bobby Labonte's in it. Stremmy's in it. Jeff Gordon down to the ground. Nothing else coming from behind you. And Kurt Busch went over and over. Boyer, McMurray. They're just, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm with Denny. And, and, you know, having been in these situations several times, there's no way you can race that way and make it. Yeah, and running out of time. I mean, he's, you know, desperate. And, and you see the 36 move down just a little bit. And Yaley and, uh, and Stenhouse thought he could squeeze by on the, uh, next to the wall, and he just couldn't make it. And this kid's ugly. Watch his thing. Right on top of Ryan Newman. Hadn't Ryan Newman had cars on top of him before here? I think uh, the 2009 race. I think you're right. Brad Keselowski and Carl Edwards coming to the checkered flag. Boyer's 15 comes up, clogs the track. Both Labonte brothers involved. Well, that's because he's been in the back of the pack. Oh, trouble. Curtis Adam, crash on the track. Adam. Just Jimmy talking Hamlin about the airborne. airborne. A.J. Allmendinger, Jeff Gordon, David Rudiman, Matt Kenseth all involved. Yeah, that's, the 11 uh, cars in there, too. You know, we we're just talking about how he had just come back. Uh, and they just keep beating this, ki this, yeah. this guy down, man. That was I'm two big you. hits, really. Yeah. I mean, that I mean, second hit when you get hit, run into yeah. like that, that is hard. And he took a hard hit last week. Yeah. You get the 11. It looks like these guys get, you know, he just dove down. Wow. And then corrected, maybe. I. Yeah, that's really a strange, strange act. Man, Matt did a good job not hitting that car. But then he got clobbered. See Blaney in that. And Blaney had had a good run. Those guys had run in the top 10 or 15 a lot tonight in that seven car. Yeah. Jamie McMurray leading. Here's the first move. Oh, trouble. trouble. Dylan gets turned around into the middle of the pack. Casey Mears is the one that hit him. Caution is out. Race is over. Denhouse, you can see right there, he's already making contact with Dylan's bumper. Wow, looked like that Dylan might have just turned turn around. around. Yeah. yeah. It might have just been there. Wow, that was what a contact that was. Everybody on this 47 team's worked hard to, to get our car going. We did test Start here. Finish oh, line. Logano comes down oh. into Paul Menard. No. One car gets up on top of a group and goes flipping over and over, and the 30 lands on its roof. That's Parker Kligerman. Cole Witt's teammate that oh. just wrecked in that first caution. That's Menard to the inside and Kligerman, the 30 to the outside. Oh. Actually, Matt Kenseth in the 20 looks like he kicked up into Joy Logano in the 22 that turned him sideways. Trevor Bain, the 21, looked to me, Larry, like he was going to bump draft. Got him going. A lot of different looks here. Hey, Jeff Gordon, that just pretty much assures the 11 car that unless uh, this 41 car, Kurt Busch, can get some kind of big move here off turn four like Kevin did. Oh, and there Shots to the wall they with wrecked. the one of McMurray. Three, four cars around. One on its roof. One car hard into the wall. That was a... I'm and it ends in flames and sparks. Our front row sitter up here, He's uh, he's got a torn up race car. Mark 78 Trent, car. Jimmy Johnson, he looks okay. Front end of his car on fire. Let's see what happens here. The 48 and the 24, they get side by side. Here comes McMurray. McNard, uh, Menard had a fast car all day long, and here comes McMurray, and he just gets a little bit of piece of that 48. A lot like happened in the Unlimited. Looked like Jimmy's car just got loose and spun. Look at Clint Boyer in that 15 car get up in the air. Thing went all, it did a 360. Unbelievable. Did a barrel roll and came right back down on its wheels. And uh, he'll cross the start finish line because it goes all the way across the infield. Outside lane hanging tough here on the restart. Oh, here oh, we, we go. Got trouble. That's Casey Kane that goes sideways. Joey Logano nowhere to go. Oh, my. Clint Didn't have to feel this guy. The big one at Daytona has happened at lap 97. That is the huge one at Daytona. Justin Allgaier. Oh, the he gets on its roof. And Kyle Busch rolls upside down. It looks like the 16 got into the five a little bit too hard and just turned him. 
And man, what talk about getting piled up. Watch the three car when we get another replay of Austin Dillon come shooting up through the middle and trying and to avoid 26 the accident. 26 of Cole Witt just got into the 18. If that is indeed, they may be looking at left sides while they're getting fuel, depending on how long they're going to be out there. Yeah, that's what I would be looking for. Trouble. Gosh, what a hard Ryan one. Newman, hard into the wall. Michael McDowell, hard into the wall. Caution's out, caution's out. Terrible crash. Right over here, you see, it's like not Ryan Newman overran that corner just a little bit. You see quite a few cars over there. Come back on the track. Contact between Biffle and Newman. Yes, Biffle came back on the track. Newman was right there. Got into him and hard into that guardrail and the tires. Sends him back out in the middle of the track here. Into McDowell. You see the rear end housing loose from the car and then it goes over the fence. Well, that last impact from McDowell was the one that probably knocked the wind out of him. What a piece of driving by David Reagan sliding through there between those crashed cars. Running in the fifth position. So Jeff Gordon right cleared. behind him. He cleared. Which line does he go to? Now Harvick's not quite clear. Harvick's on the outside of him. Now, boom, he didn't make a commitment. Oh, and around goes the car behind him. That's the six, or excuse me, the nine. A very close call there for Sam Hornish Jr. in the nine. The caution comes out. Now we're getting closer to the possibility of a green-white checker. We've Even seen this. got together? Yeah, we have. We've seen this time and time again. You see the splitter makes huge contact with the grass. The car starts to bounce. Luckily, it lands on all four and just continues to spin. But we've seen this. The nine goes to make a move, looks for that inside line, wasn't clear of the one, drives across his nose, ends up spinning through the grass tore the splitter completely off when it grabbed the grass initially. And then once again, hit hard and up into the air. A wild ride for Sam Hornis Jr. He's still driving it. Look at those hands. Still driving it. And listen, I know I make it sound simple that he drives across the one. But Sam Hornis is trying to go forward. He's not changing lanes to get out of the way. He's changing lanes to try to get in the right lane to try to make something happen. Dale Earnhardt Jr. to the bottom of the track. Jr. will win in Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. Oh my God. Rex starts in front. He runs in the back of the 24. Gets up on the 11. Now he's on top of the 54.5. And now it's just a long bit of run. Yeah, Watch the car stop. Watch the car stop. It gets into those poles. And it goes from, I don't know, what, 180, 190 miles an hour. I'm just guessing to a complete stop. That is unbelievable. And that, it looks like a tour. That's 30. 500 pounds. That that stock car is extremely heavy. You see here after he's upside down, the two is, is spinning. Obviously, he's already lost control. Makes more contact with the three. Up here, just going to be, I think, two tires on this stop. This car just loose early on in this race, but they oh, did settle no, it down. Oh, no, straight away. A big hit, around. and Jimmy Johnson oh, goes spinning. Oh, three's around. Busher. Oh, man. Oh, no. Chris Busher on his lid. And lands back on his wheels. Caution. Oh, man, we saw four wide off the corner over there. I was afraid of okay. this. Great camera work capturing this. Ooh. Look at oh, Chris, wow. rookie Chris Busher's wild ride down the backstretch. It's been a while since we've seen one do this. We've seen it plenty of times here in Talladega in the past. One thing I've noticed, I don't see a roof flap. did not come open yet. Boy, Stanley Steamer. Whoa, there's oh, and around no. she goes we go. into oh, Kenseth. Man. Oh gosh, up in the Kenseth. air and into the wall, hard. Man, Kenseth. Man, I thought he was going to catch the catch fence back there. The way I it landed not, was. I am not believing it. I think somebody makes contact with. Oh, uh, McDowell oh, got McDowell. her in the left rear. Yep. Yep. And then. Oh turn. no, he hit. She hit him in the right front. And when oh, and when that Dono happened, it just got air underneath the car. Is anybody left in this race?
I've Let's never... watch from the uh, Goodyear aerial coverage, and you'll see several things happen here as Kenseth's car comes back down to earth. I can tell you, a lot of teams are going to be freezing those shots to look underneath this car when they leave here. <laughs> no, I saw that. Big run coming from the 18. Oh, the Kyle three Bush, stepped out. Dylan. Kyle Busch and Dylan side trouble. Car hard in the wall. Two of them. Keslowski to the line. Caution had waved with Keslowski, the leader, and crashing are Harvick, Almendinger, Stenhouse, Truex, Labonte, and everybody else. Good job today, Brad. That was you, man. Managing that. To establish the moment of caution into the trioval. Contact between Truex and Almendinger, and then Cole Witt turns Kevin Harvick up and into the wall, and Stenhouse and Almendinger. Witt slides along and crashes with Truex. Caution is out. Race is effectively over. Kyle Larson, the outside. Carl Edwards on the inside. Green flag back in the air. They're blocking. Good go down low. Carl Edwards into the wall. He got tagged by the 22. Big hit. By the 19, and the caution comes back out again. That is exactly what we saw Joey Logano was going to try to do. Big fire of the 78. But that is what we thought was going to happen. Obviously, the wreck isn't what we thought. Martin Truex Jr. needs to get out of this race car. Very aggressive on the restart. The flames rolling out from underneath the hood of the 78. Red flag comes out. Martin Truex Jr. is out of the car the track actually Joe Logano still out there but will have a little bit of damage to the car but those two benefit the most from this because they were able to get through what a big impact yeah, I huge. to be honest I've been focused so much on that restart I didn't realize the degree of that impact he said I think we're gonna have a fast race car his uh, spotter Eddie DeHunt just told him it's time oh, to be greedy oh, there he goes. Oh, there oh, there we go. here we go oh upside side down side Well, AJ, that was a humdinger. Yes, it was, and that's uh, there he is upside down, and I hope, hope he's all right. I see him moving around in there. I don't think there's any issue with him. Yeah, you just can't push on the left side of that rear bumper. Well, you just can't keep pushing. He got into the 24 and just kept on pushing. But, Mike, I'm telling you, I started my first racer in 1972. This was what I worried about. 1970, 45 years ago, and here we are. Tona, where she got into yeah. the inside wall and hit hard where a wall jutted out like that. Now see, I think Chase Elliott was already, he already had his hands full prior to that. He was trying to get it gathered up, and then A.J. came off his rear bumper and then made contact with him again. Also, Logano went for a heck of a ride there, a couple big impacts. Keselowski's up in there. Minor damage for a Kevin Harvick. Getting crowded up there at the front right now with the 42. Oh, Whoa, trouble! Big, big, big crash! Danica Patrick and Joey Logano oh, and Eric Alvaro. Holy smoly. Yeah, heavy, heavy damage there on Danica. Those, those cars are killed. And Almarola piling in at the last second and going up in the air. Patrick Danica's quickly out. out of her car. Oh, oh man, it looked like oh. the 22 just got loose. I think yeah. that, oh, man. What, an, what a ride that Danica went Danica on. Danica took a heck of a ride into the, the wall, and then the 43 just, just plowed in there. Yeah, he had nowhere to go. I think he committed to the outside lane. Pretty big impact by the 43. As you could see, Almirola sitting in his car. He hadn't quite gotten out. Falling back just a bit in that inside line, the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Look at the hands on AJ Albany. Up in the air goes the 42 of Kyle Larson. Caution comes out. And another contact got tens of hits. The one of Jamie McMurray flying down pit road. See right here, he gets down low. The 17 of Ricky Stenhouse tries to fill the upper lane. The 42 tries to block. And as you said, the 42 was destined to go airborne. The roof flaps deployed, setting the 42 back on the, on the ground. And as that happened, the 41 of Kurt Busch crossed the travel, took a hard, hard hit. Eric Jones and the 24. And around goes the 77 of Jones, almost up over the wall as they hit hard. That Kenseth? The 20 of Kenseth involved, as is the one of McMurray. A big wreck coming out of turn two. 
You see right here, the wheel, just a little too much wheel back to the right. Daniel Suarez absolutely nowhere to go. 14 of Clint Boyer, heavy damage with the 19 as well. And we saw the 43 of Eric Almarola was also. McMurray, he has a big run down. Oh, we got one spinning. No, and it's McMurray. Got it. Man, that thing is flipping, rolling. That car is junk. You got that right. Well, I just he hope he's a ride right he there. He had been incredibly fast. He got a huge runoff turn two, caught a, back a pack of cars, made a quick move, and ended up in the fence. Mike, it, it just really wouldn't surprise me to see uh, some kind of maybe adjustment on the speeds here because the cars are really, really fast. See the 31 of Newman with a pretty good run. No, he maybe cut a tire. Something happened to that car. It just yeah. went around all by itself on the straightaway. And, and see what really sent that car over was when Newman hit him on the left side. It lifted the right side up and caught air. Yeah. And, and look at that car start come rolling. apart against the fence. It just disintegrates. I mean, everything did its job of what it's designed to do. The fence kept the car on the racetrack. Car in the wall, Chris Buescher. And he gets tagged by De Benedetto. Truex is in it. And so is the 77 of rookie Justin Haley. Right on cue. 19 of Truex getting caught up in this. Larry, that trend was nobody's friend. Seven to go. Behind Chris Busher, almost tries to make it three wide right there. Busher comes down. A little bit of contact oh. right there. And just turns the 37 around. Boy, and Benedetto oh, had big. nowhere to go, and Truex had nowhere to go. So happy to see that 37 car stay Haley. on the ground when the 95 hit him. Yeah, yep. big hit by Haley in the 77. Wow. Here's another look, and we'll watch Almarola in the 10 and Chris Busher in this 37. Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, Ryan Priest. Logano on the outside, oh, and Byron's Byron. around. He crashes. Caution oh, is out. Heavy, heavy oh, impacted world. inside wall by the 42 of Larson. What a hard tumble wow. for Kyle Larson. Oh, man. And that was after a really hard hit with that front nose to the inside wall. It just won't stop. Now the 18 drops down to the bottom. He'll block the inside line. What a tough spot for Kyle Busch. What's he, what lane's he gonna block? The outside lane, now the inside lane's gonna come. Here comes the inside lane. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. back to the front. Another hood flap flies off. Oh! oh the road goes the 18. The 42 collects the 17 as well. The 62 upside down. Brendan gone upside down as he went back in front of the pack. We're wreck right here, guys. And the big one happens right at the front of the field. So Kurt pushing Kyle. And just hooked him. And look at Brendan Gaughan just flipping right over. It's like the nose of that Chevrolet just can't quite push him straight. It just yeah. can't do it. Blaney as they go around the 37, almost upside down. So is the 96, Parker Kligerman. Here they come. They make contact. They're side by side. It's a photo finish at the line. The bigger hits that took place as they were coming through the trial. We'll take a look at this. First, it's the 37 of Busher. Heavy into the inside wall. Car goes airborne. And then the 96 of Kligerman joins him. Another big hit there by the 96. Not at all. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air, up. goes Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof, Ryan Newman comes across the line, fourth. And comes to rest. Newman gets a pretty good run to the turn four, but now here comes a huge run by Ryan Blaney being pushed by Denny Hamlin. He goes, tries to go to the outside, then the inside, they lock, lock bumpers and turns Ryan Newman around. Upside down he goes. Corey LaJoy coming along, making contact. Just lifting Newman's car up and over. 
Push that Atlanta car back out front. More wrecking. And around goes the 95. Oh, and the 47. Oh, hard hit. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, awful. Ryan Priest in the 37. Fantastic. That's Ryan talking. Glad to hear that. Like Ryan Newman got in the got into oh Christopher Bell trying to get up in front of him. Then they make contact. Oh. Poor Ryan Priest. Mm. We talked about he's had a string of last place finishes and wow. Such a Junior and I in this booth when he was heading to that wall, we were both cringing. It's not Lap 108, you're clear. 108 at the line here. Oh, we got a crash! Yeah, 48 goes around. The big one happening. The one's upside down. Kurt Busch climbed all over the top of the 41 of Custer. The two is around. Playoff contenders involved. Kurt Busch won a week ago. He's safe into the round of eight. Everyone else is still fighting for points. In positions, the 62, Brendan Gaughan, his final NASCAR race was taking place, and he has severe damage to that car. Yeah, right there, the 14 is pushing the 48. Gets him to turn around. Now, he's lost the ride. Kurt Busch way up in the air. Fortunately, came down on his tires. The driver in this race that was in the 2001 Daytona 500. That's like back in your era, Jeff. <laughs> Look what I said, Clint, about 21 cars. I don't know if we got hit. there, but man, that took out a lot of race cars and a lot of great race cars in their role and lost the lead in the closing yards of this race in 2018. Dave's along for the ride. As soon as he got contact hit, it just turned his car right. <laughs> he took the words right out of my mouth. Unbelievable. Crushing blow to so many teams, so many efforts that it goes into having fast cars and being at this Daytona 500. That was a lot of heavy hitters in this one. We're going to ride with Ryan Newman through this. Well, look at that 24 car go up on the side on two wheels. Smashed just as badly as he got with his primary yeah, car that's Thursday his backup night. car. At least a dozen cars involved. Oh, David Reagan torn up as well. They come down to block. Logano goes back up. Keselowski with him. McDowell in tow. Dillon on the bottom. The runs on top. Oh! Teammates. Around they go in a hard crash. Kyle Busch. Wow, Larson. Caution is of, out. Bubba Wallace is in this. Austin Sendrick. Hard hit by Kyle Busch. And Michael McDowell from Glendale, Arizona for Bob Jenkins Front Row Motorsports has won the Daytona 500. How about that? Man. That's a huge win for Michael McDowell and that team. Doesn't get any bigger than this. And a huge crash for everybody else. Talking about yes. he was pushing him. Couldn't see there. They moved up to take a block. He had to check up, stocked him up, and almost wrecked him. Yeah, that was almost big between Kyle Busch and his teammate Denny Hamlin. And now look at Kyle Busch go backwards because of that. And he did. He went backwards because he chose the wreck. Oh, oh yeah, he's he's gonna... wrecking. Enjoy the guy. Oh, oh, and over the Logano. Logano. And Keselowski is in it. Boy, it's just scary. Anytime that air gets underneath that car, gets it airborne like that, thankful to see that car get back on four wheels and not Same have a super moving around. Moving around. Grabbing, the, grabbing the wind net there, that's a good sign. Good sign. So and look how they're all stacked up. They're all bumper to bumper to bumper. Yeah, but look at the 11. He moves down to try to go to on the bottom, gets turned, turns him into the Joey Logano. And then, Jeff, we've all felt it. That silence. When that car goes over, it gets really, really quiet. Not a fun sound. And you have no idea if that car is just going to start rolling and continuing to roll or if it's going to settle down. Luckily, that's what it did. Oh, oh we got 
another one. Is that the 19? Yeah. Same oh, situation. Uh -oh. Wow. Same and right situation. under him. Oh, and into the wall. It was the 40. Oh, my gosh. Cole Custer. Nowhere to go there. Big fire. He had uh, a big impact. Luckily, seeing him get out of the race car right now because that was a big impact to that inside barrier. So already an issue, I believe, here, or maybe not. No, his hood's no, still no, up. Yet. Oh, oh, somebody oh, checked the 34, up right there. McDowell 34, yep. checks up. Truex gets into him, and he's slowing down, and here comes Cole Custer through to the inside. Nowhere to go. Has no idea. Mark Just. Truex Jr.'s had damage. Now that right, thank goodness there's a little bit of a safer barrier. Well, is that a That's safer a foam barrier? barrier. Yeah. It's a foam, foam barrier. Wall. Yes. Thank goodness that was there instead of just hitting that Armco barrier. Kyle Busch, though, will win stage two in Michigan. Christopher Bell is not for second. Larson, Elliott, Hamlin, third through fifth. Oh, Austin there's a big Dillon, look at this. Dylan with so much damage just finished sixth in the stage and the whole back end of the car torn off. Oh, they had such a good day going. Let's take a look and see how it started. On the inside of Brad Kozlowski off of turn four. Side drafting the two. Oh my. Oh, that's a hard hit had just finished six and looked like when he went to the apron he thought once he crossed the start finish line just come back up on the racetrack but the two was there oh big crash right here big hit he'll hit the inside wall but the back of that car almost completely gone for joey gase oh the left rear tire yeah left rear tire come off the car look how hard oh. Wow. 